Rome. Greece. Because people are stupid. All democracies fail. But if you crush the masses, who builds your monuments? People will tear it apart themselves. Who tongues it taint? Then you get to swoop in and be the one saving it. You just gotta nudge him a little. Like Caesar. Like Caesar. Oh, hell no. Who wants their balls crushed? Me. Your team. What's your code name again? The boys. Oof. Who came up with that shit? Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. This will be my video for the boys season four trailer. It looks absolutely crazy in the best possible way, like how they get to top themselves each season. It just gets crazier and crazier and crazier. This time, Homelander seems like he's revealed his grand plan, and it is to go full God Emperor Homelander eventually over the entire world, I think. But really, they're just talking about the United States during the events of the trailer because of the election. But it kind of seems like his whole idea is to basically go Caesar on Rome, basically go from a democracy, turning it into an empire with him being the new emperor. There's a bunch of comic book Easter eggs for that, so we'll get into that during the video. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the episodes. Of course, I'll do videos for all of the episodes, just like I did for previous seasons and just like I did for Gen V. They didn't have any new footage for Gen V season two, even though they've renewed it just because they literally just renewed it. So they haven't even started filming it yet. I literally just did a video for the Boys Mexico series, which they just announced, which is going to be happening in the next couple of years too, but they haven't revealed much about the plot of that and how it connects with the Boys Season 4 and the Boys Season 5, but it'd probably air after the Boys Season 5. This trailer only says that Season 4 is going to premiere sometime in 2024. My assumption is that it'll be summer or before that, hopefully March, but I don't think it'll be quite that early. Just starting at the beginning of the trailer footage, working our way through shot by shot, talking about Easter eggs and the many, many WTF moments. The beginning of the trailer starts with Homelander in his apartment in Vought Tower, just staring silently. He does that a lot, like his mind just goes absolutely blank. You wonder, what is he cooking? What is he cooking inside there? Then we get the voiceover from this new character who we find out is talking to him later in this room about the whole idea of going full Caesar on Rome. Basically, Homelander versus the idea of democracy in the United States. Even though they portrayed him in a number of different ways during the series, like they make him seem like he's super dumb. He does have a certain level of intelligence, like he starts to see the grand picture when this person is telling him about how he could take over the United States, basically. And essentially, they make it seem like he wants to lean into the curve, like basically get both sides of this equation, like the far right and the far left, like the people that are basically warring with each other, these two political parties, get them to start burning America down, basically burning democracy down because we have this whole election that's been going on in the background with Victoria Newman and Robert Singer's character. And he plans to be the person to swoop in and fix all the problems or claim that he's going to fix all the problems and make everyone love him even more, like take all the credit for fixing this giant civil war that America is about to start. And essentially, if he plans to become the new god emperor of the United States and maybe the world eventually, you have to remember because of his compound V powers, he's functionally immortal. He won't age. So he'll be emperor forever. Then when he starts getting this idea in his head about Rome becoming this new version of Caesar over the United States, they transition to Butcher inside this old video store, looking like it's the aftermath of them winning the election, Victoria Newman and Robert Singer winning the election, basically Homelander's side. There's also a poster for Polarity. That's a reference to the Gen V show. This is meant to take place like days after the ending of the Gen V show. Remember, Victoria Newman had that Compound V weapon in her hands and she's got it on the DL. So it sounds like she's going to use it or she wants to use it at some point, maybe as a deterrent. My early theory during the Gen V episodes when they were sort of getting into the weeds on that is that it wouldn't work on Homelander. Like she might try to use it on Homelander and it might just not work. 
It'll either turn into some twist like that or there'll be a left turn because theoretically it would kill all superheroes all over the planet and I don't think they want that to happen. But somehow things will not go the way that Victoria Newman is planning them to go. I don't know if any of the Gen V characters will show up during season four because none of them do appear during the trailer. Then we see Victoria Newman and Robert Singer at what looks like a victory rally like they're all celebrating their victory in the election. Not sure what's happening here, but Starlight holds her hand up. This might just be a crowd that she's addressing, like a bunch of her supporters that she's addressing. Then we see a rally of Homelander supporters near Vaught Tower. Love the look on his face here. Like, you just wonder what he's pissed off about. It could literally be anything. He gets pissed off so frequently. The funny thing about the way they cut the trailer, too, where the woman's talking about not killing all these regular people, because if Homelander killed all these people, who would build monuments to him and who would lick his taint, so to speak? It shows you the Deep with the octopus, because there's this whole weird relationship that the Deep has with Homelander. Like, he's kind of terrified of him, but he's also kind of obsessed with him. Homelander also literally forced him to eat his friend, the octopus. Now he's staring at another one. Then we see Butcher and Mother's Milk at what is called TruthCon here. It just seems like another one of those crazy conventions that they visit during the series. They did that during season three. Zoom and Enhance next to Mother's Milk here. There's a bunch of conspiracy theories about what happened to Soldier Boy being held captive by the CIA. That's actually kind of true. That's the funny part is that there's an element of truth in there. Not totally sure what's going on with Frenchie and Kimiko in this coffee warehouse here. Just something really shady that they're investigating. When she talks about the different sides of this equation, like the Starlight supporters, the Homelander supporters, basically tearing each other apart, they actually do start to fight with each other. Notice that Starlight is at the protest and just kind of horrified by what's happening here with the fight breaking out. And you see Homelander in the background just kind of smiling, enjoying it all like, yes, I am happy that this is happening because he plans on swooping in, fixing it later and being the grand savior, quote unquote, to everyone then a lot of you wondered if they would bring Black Noir back because during this next scene, we actually see him with Homelander, with Ryan at what seems like some sort of rally. And a couple of the new superhero characters are introducing during season four. This one is called Firecracker. Notice she has bullets all over her. Supposedly one of her superpowers is just incredibly good hearing, like way beyond that of a normal superhero. But just to address the elephant in the room, the dead superhero in the room, why is Black Noir back? Well, there's actually a twist that explains that in the comics. In the comics, you can actually use Compound V to resurrect dead superheroes. The only thing, though, is that when you do that, they just come back as like mindless zombified kind of hulks. Like they could take basic commands, but essentially they lose their higher brain functions. So maybe that's what's going on with Black Noir during season four. Whatever's going on here, it looks like this new firecracker superhero character has a TV show called Truth Bomb, which is probably an ironic statement. Like she probably just lies for Vought because most of the programs here are all sponsored by Vought on Vought's networks. And it's just them peddling their wares, getting you to buy their stuff, just saying whatever Vought wants you to believe, basically. Then we finally see Jeffrey Dean Morgan's character meeting with Butcher, who's some sort of former co-worker, former ally of his. During the series, he's going to be called Joe Kessler, but there's not much we know about where he actually comes from, like if he's part of the CIA or if he's connected to Mallory somehow, and that's how he knew Butcher in the past. It just kind of seems like they're old mates. And I love the way that he makes fun of Butcher in the boys team. Like, who came up with that name? That sounds stupid. This little girl character is actually Victoria Newman's daughter who's attacking Kimiko. I'm not exactly sure what's happening in this scene, but this just shows you what her Compound V powers wound up turning into. Because remember, Victoria Newman dosed her with Compound V last season. Does it not look like the freakiest power to get ever? Giving someone Compound V powers is a bit of a dice roll. Like they could either get really cool powers, really low level, like nothing powers, or really gross powers. And if this isn't a flashback, it seems like Queen Maeve comes back at some point. She's wearing a different type of costume, but it seems like she's doing some kind of song and dance number here, like she's doing some show. We get another scene with Black Noir with the Seven inside Vaught Tower. Some kind of crazy duplication power that the superhero has. It seems like he might be a supporter. He's wearing a Starlight t-shirt, but I can't read the rest of the shirt. So he either loves or he hates Starlight. I don't know if Mother's Milk is reacting to his power or if this is like a completely different scene, but I love the way that he reacts to this. This is his general reaction to a lot of the crazy stuff that happens on the show. Then they tease this weird kind of brain worm that they're giving people. Like there's a bunch of jars that they're looking at here. It's the thing that's wiggling around inside Butcher's temple here. It might be some kind of mind control device that they're trying to use. We get another funny scene of Ashley dominating Cameron Cole here, like their weird, freaky kink scenes like we had in previous seasons. This is basically how Ashley has been able to blow steam off after getting abused by Homelander and the rest of everybody inside Vought Tower for so long. 
Love the way that Homelander growls here like an animal then takes off. Not sure what's going on in the scene. Just love seeing him just go crazy like this. Then we see Ryan push someone and just squish him against the side of the building because he pushes him so hard. Notice that almost everybody on the street has their phones out and are videotaping it too. There's this little girl standing next to him. So maybe Ryan thinks that he's protecting this little girl by pushing this other dude away, but he pushes him so hard that he just splats against the side of the building. That's a very Homelander thing for him to do, like just push someone away, but you push them so hard that their body basically explodes. There's a bunch of stuff going on during the season, obviously. I've talked about in a couple previous videos, all those running plot lines that they have from the end of season three. Jensen Eichel's Soldier Boy is still alive, still in the deep freeze, so to speak. He's still in cryo. During the Gen V show, Victoria Newman referenced Homelander going on trial for killing that dude at the end of season three. They might address that briefly at the beginning of the season, but I'm not expecting it to be like a super huge thing because there's no way that Homelander would allow himself to actually go to jail if he thought that that were a threat. But let me know in the comments what you're most hyped up about. And if there's any questions you have based on the trailer footage or anything that I didn't address from the trailer, just write it below in the comments too. And because this weekend is CCXP Brazil Comic Con, there are a bunch of trailers that dropped. I'll try to do videos for everything as quickly as possible. I just did a House of the Dragon season two trailer. Click here to watch that and click here to learn about X-23 coming back during Deadpool 3. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one.